It is time to add color to our mixed media pumpkins. Mixed media is a way of saying more than one art tool. I'm going to be using oil pastels, crayon markers, crayons, and you can also use color pencils, but I chose not to. The first technique I want to show you is how to blend crayons using crayon markers together. I'm going to do one layer of yellow just like that and when you're coloring with crayons you want to make sure you color very hard that we can see the wax there's being no white shine. i'm not going to color like this that does not fly you want to color very thickly all right next i'm going to be using some orange and do a second layer when i say layer layer is when you add color to the top yellow is one layer adding orange top is the second layer once I add the crayon marker, that will be called the third layer and so on. Okay, next I'm gonna go in here and add some texture. We did this a while back with the bunny. Blend it together. I love these markers. They're like paint. They're so nice. Blend it together has a nice red orange and so on next up i'm going to show you how to mix colors using color pencils when you're mixing colors with color pencils or anything really you're going to always start with the lighter color in this case is this really light pink then go in here Using circular motions, I'm going to color it in using the light pink. Next, my second layer is going to be the yellow. Once again, circular motion. You'll see how it's like a little peach coral color. And then for the shadow, anywhere you want to have value. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color. You use your darkest color for the shadow. Without shadows, things start looking cartoony. You'll notice on animation, unless it's a very dark green scrim scene, you're not going to have many shadows. Unless you're Batman. In Batman, there's tons of shadows. The whole show is nothing but shadows. Again, you go back to your light color and blend it all together. And that one's done. Lastly, I'm going to show you what to do with the oil pastels. Oil pastels are wax resistant, so are crayons, but they're not as good. When I say wax resistant, if I paint with watercolor on top of them, it's going to pop through. So really quick, I'm going to just add my lines in. You can do a line like that, or maybe some curved lines. Notice how I'm not coloring, I'm adding lines. I don't want to see anyone color with these. There is a time and place to color with all pastels. Right now, it's not that time. All right, let's speed this up. Once you are done adding your lines with oil pastel and crayon, it is time for the fun part, painting. You're going to do swish and flick, not this, flick, and wet the color you want. In my case, I'm going to use this nice teal blue. Wet it just a little bit and start painting your sky. You'll notice how it pops right through. I'll be doing wet on wet. This is, I have paint that's already wet. Let me take a different color and paint right over that to make a different tone.
for the grass, I'm going to be using green and yellow to make a tertiary color. A tertiary color is when you mix a primary and a secondary color together. So I'm going to start with yellow. While it's still wet, I'm going to get my green and make yellow green. That's what you were doing once you were done with that. How you decide to use mixed medium is up to you. You can use the crayon technique and the frame markers. You can use color pencils layering. You can use oil pastels to color in just a small area, not a lot, just a little bit. If you have like a small pocket like that, you could do that with oil pastel. Put it, you, this is what you're doing. You're using mixed medium once again. Mixed media is when you paint using different art tools. So I might have crayons, I might have oil pastels, it's more than one art tool.